have a foothold in African soil, particularly in Kenya, for particular reasons. By the way, this state visit was not supposed to be what you have seen. It was supposed to be more because she had even secured a congressional, uh, you know, speech, you know, an address, a joint, a joint congressional address, yes. which of course uh, Republicans could not uh, fathom for many reasons. American interest, I go straight because for me I'm a politician, I'm not, I may not be able to put very good words uh, where they are none. Mm -hmm. Straight on, <laughs> America want nothing else but to expand the murder base. They have wanted this since Jomo Kenyatta. They have wanted to build a military base in Kenya, akin to one in uh, Djibouti. But successive presidents have refused because Kenya, and uh, Balozi here would know better, Kenya has been a non-aligned country. Mm. Our, our, our strategic interests are neither east nor west. Our strategic interests are permanent interests of our country. What is Kenya's interest? So if those interests are found in the east, then we pursue the east. If those interests are found in the west, then we pursue the west. But we must not be seen to be totally married and emasculated by either. And, and I was very disappointed by President Ruto's answer to Richard Quest, CNN, by saying, Kenya neither faces east nor faces west, it faces forward. That is diplomatic ignorance. He has no understanding whatsoever of that question. And I would rather he would not have answered it because it has left the egg on the face in the public setup. Everybody from America, Caribbean, Europe could not understand what an answer because this is what he's used to telling Kenyans who always clap to what he says here. Because semantics sometimes should be saved for the local. But when you go into an international space, Stand up, stand up as uh, you know w what you should. So okay. what Americans are pursuing here, it is not that uh, William Ruto has been called to State House for, uh, rather to White House for, for, for all the things that we have been told. The expressway, this expressway was here. It has been put to Kibaki, has been put to Uhuru, but both refused. This uh, Mombasa Nairobi, it has been there. When we talk about uh, other diplomatic things, like whatever will happen. My thinking, and what I think I would say on top of hills, mm -hmm. is that one, America want nothing less but an expanded military presence in Mada Bay in Lamu. And they have done it. In these agreements, three kilometer runway has been suggested and funded. Part of the goodies that he's coming with okay. is that Mada, Bay, uh, Ma, 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 Mada Island in Lamu will have a three kilometer long, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, that thing. Secondly, yeah. William Ruto has been called to State House for discipline. To White House? Yeah, sorry, mm -hmm. sorry. When mm -hmm. I say State House, forgive me. Yeah. For, to the White House to be disciplined because of his wobbling diplomatic stance. When Ukraine is fighting with Russia, he seemed to be dealing with Russia at some point. When Gaza is uh, being demolished by Israel, he seemed to be condemning Israel. When uh, Africa take a position, of uh, Palestinian, uh, 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 the, the African Union stand on such things as mm -hmm. occupation, mm -hmm. that Africa does not condone any occupation. So when they took a position with the Palestine, President William Ruto took it again with Palestine. Yet, he should know America has its interest in those two particular wars. Right. Where is he? When he hosts Abraham Raisi here, the late, and may God rest his soul in peace. When is he hosting America here, uh, rather Iran here? And Iran is the one fighting uh, Israeli in. So he's being, they say, uh, our puppet doesn't seem to be knowing what is. We call him home. Let him eat. Let him take a bath. Once he sit down with us, we will warn him against wobbling and taking positions that okay. are not diplomatically correct uh -huh. for the U.S. policy. Well, the street shooting CAS has said it as he views it. We have to take a break. But Bichachi, uh, do you agree with his term in 30 seconds or so in terms of puppet of the West before we cross over to the interests U.S. have in Kenya? Briefly. Uh, first and foremost, it is impossible for any two human beings to engage without mutual interest. Mm. That, that is clear. Yeah to then decide that one side is uh, potentially evil is not true to the geopolitical realities of the world today. And when we come back, we will discuss even factors such as uh, the United States proposing to ban TikTok in uh, 2025. There is a geopolitical shift happening in the world, and Kenya happens to be a very important cog in that particular wheel. Interesting. Let's take that short break. We have bills to pay. The conversation is getting heated, so do stay with Inside Politics. We'll be back in a few.